First step is to use this inch and three eighths wrench and remove the two hydraulic lines from the cylinder. First, we're gonna remove these two hydraulic lines with an inch and three eighths wrench. Get that one broke loose. I'll break this one loose. Next, we gotta remove this pin. There was three bolts up here that we've already removed. We gotta remove three more down here. They're 14 millimeter socket. So when I did the turn cylinder on the other side, I pulled this pin out and that pin out and then I took the whole thing into the shop and then pulled it apart. Uh, but this time I'm going to leave the pins in and uh, I got this broke loose. It took me a little bit. That's why you didn't see it on the video but I used this uh, big pipe wrench and it's a pipe off a uh, stop sign. Stop sign pole and then uh, put it on here broke this loose off the front of the cylinder we'll try to swing this over there and pull the cylinder off the piston and rod because this end on the other side was pretty tough to get back together so i really don't want to do that again and uh, this way it made it easier going ahead and breaking this loose instead of having it in the shop trying to or having to hold this end as well Okay, now that we've got this uh, to where we can take it off by hand, we'll go ahead and take this pin out, swing it over there, and then we'll take this off so we can slide it out. I push it in, get the rest of the fluid out. Slide the cylinder off. <clears throat> now that we've got the cylinder off, we need to take this cap off here. And to do that, we're gonna have to take this piston off by getting this bolt off here. I'm gonna use an inch and 13 sixteenths socket with a break over. Here's everything that we're going to be working on. Here's the kit we're going to use to repack this uh, cylinder. So after inspecting, cylinder looks good in there, nothing scarred up. And then this, you can see those O-rings in there, or those seals in there. This one's broken here and here, that one's broken in half. Um, well, actually more than in half. It's got a whole chunk missing uh, This outside one's broke right here. So uh, They're all in bad shape pretty much. So All we got to do is get a pick and go down through here and replace all these but first I'm gonna get everything cleaned up real well So uh, make everything easier and uh, just better to work with now that we've got this all cleaned up 
we're going to take a pick and start picking out these uh, seals here and then we'll lay them out in order and start re start putting in the uh, new ones make sure that you pay attention as you're pulling these out because they do go in one direction so this one it has the metal lip and this was the outside it doesn't have a lip on this side so our new one the lip is right here on this side it doesn't have one so this is going to be the outside you best set them in order and then you'll know the second one down here would be this yellow one and as you can see it's got a groove on one side this typically is facing like that the groove would be in towards the cylinder so fluid would be hitting it this way so that's going to sit in there like that See, it was in there like that. This side will have the cut. So, this side with the bevel sticking out is going to be in towards the cylinder. This side with the slot is going to be out towards the cap, and then we'll stick the uh, white ring it'll set in here so now that we got that one out we're gonna have to pull this band out looks like this so this will go in the bottom this will go in there on top of that this one will go in that way and this one on the top first we're gonna clean this up bill here on top we got that seal in next we'll do this yellow one remember the groove goes towards the piston the flat goes towards the cap you go ahead and stick this band in now go ahead and knock this seal here in the top try to get it going in straight and we got it now we're just going to put this o-ring on and this is repacked now that the caps are packed, we need to put a new band on here. Easy as that. Now I need to replace this band here. There's the outer ring. There's a rubber in here. that one so we'll snap this one in place and this little snap ring here now you just got to make sure that's seated when you put it in but that's done all right i put a little lube on these and it's going to be a two-handed job but you're just going to shove it on here this way okay we got that on there now we'll go get the piston, bolt it back on, and then we'll slide the cylinder on. Bolt this on, tighten her up. Now we get the cylinder. Here we got the cylinder back on, threaded the cap on. Now we gotta adjust it over there and uh, put the pin in. Okay, we got it adjusted and lined up. Let's take this pin in here. It's obviously gonna take a little bit. And then we'll uh, connect the lines back up. Get these tightened up real quick. We'll tighten this cap. 
I'll reconnect our hydraulic lines. Should put new O-rings in there, but I didn't have any in. Yeah, so anyways. I'll put that one back on. And then uh, that's going to be the end of the video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, I'm going to start this thing up. Let the let it fill this uh, cylinder back up with hydraulic fluid and then I'll uh, top the hydraulic fluid off in the tank.